It's Bible time. <gasps> it's Bible time. It's Bible time. It's, it's Bible, Bible time. time. <gasps> it's Bible time with Aunt JJ. It's, it's Bible time with Aunt JJ. It's Bible time with Aunt JJ. That's me. Get your Bible if you have one, because it's time to study the Bible together. The Bible is God's Word. God helps men write it so we can know for sure that everything in it is completely true. God gave the Israelites instructions for how to get food in the wilderness. He gave Joshua instructions for leading the people. He gave the people instructions for crossing the Jordan River and setting up stones to remember what He had done. Now, God gives us instructions through the Bible. Today, we're going to read some of God's instructions. We're going to learn how we can be prepared to follow God. I'm going to say a job. You say what tools a person might need in order to do that job. What tools might a YouTuber need to make videos? What tools might a teacher need in order to teach students? What tools might a musician need in order to play music? What tools might a fireman need in order to put out a fire? What tools might a doctor need to help a patient? Different jobs need different tools. What jobs do Christians have to do? And how can they do those jobs? Let's read and find out. We're going to read from the book of 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy is in the New Testament. With the help of the Holy Spirit, Paul wrote it as a letter to Timothy. It includes instructions and encouragement. Everything in 2 Timothy is completely true and helps us know how to live for God. I'm going to read from 2 Timothy chapter 3. While I read, listen for things we should do and things we should not do. Give a thumbs up when you hear something we should do. Give a thumbs down when you hear something we should not do. Also, listen for what work Christians have to do and what they need in order to do that work. Here is what I want you to know. There will be terrible times in the last days. People will love themselves. They will love money. They will brag and be proud. They will tear others down. They will not obey their parents. They won't be thankful or holy. They won't love others. They won't forgive others. They will tell lies about people. They will be out of control. They will be wild. They will hate what is good. They will turn against their friends. They will act without thinking. They will think they are better than others. They will love what pleases them instead of loving God. They will act as if they were serving God, but what they do will show that they have turned their backs on God's power, have nothing to do with these people. You know how badly I have been treated, but the Lord saved me from all my troubles. In fact, everyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be treated badly, but I want you to continue to follow what you have learned and are sure about. You know the people you learned it from. You have known the Holy Scriptures ever since you were a little child. They are able to teach you how to be saved by believing in Christ Jesus. God has breathed life into all Scripture. It is useful for teaching us what is true. It is useful for correcting our mistakes. It is useful for making our lives whole again. It is useful for training us to do what is right. By using Scripture, the servants of God can be completely prepared to do every good thing. Paul wrote that hard times were coming. Some people were not going to live for God. They were going to love what pleases them instead of loving God. Those who want to live a godly life in Jesus were going to be treated badly. Yikes! What are people to do? The first thing people need to do is to trust in Jesus. The scriptures are able to teach us how to be saved by believing in Christ Jesus. Accepting the free gift of salvation by grace through faith in Jesus is the most important decision a person can make. If you want to know more about what this means, watch the separate video called How to Become a Christian. 
The rest of the verses tell us what we need in order to do the work God has for Christians to do. Christians should continue to follow God, and Christians need God's Word in order to do it. Christians know how to live by following the Scriptures. With God's Word, the servant of God can be completely prepared to do every good thing. Let's look at verses 16 through 17 again. God has breathed life into all scripture. This means God inspired it. God helped men write what he wanted written. They are the words of God. It is useful for teaching us what is true. It is useful for correcting our mistakes. It is useful for making our lives whole again. It is useful for training us to do what is right. By using scripture, the servant of God, Christians, those who follow Jesus, can be completely prepared to do every good thing. We're going to read these verses one last time. This time, there are some blanks for us to fill in. God has blank all scripture. What does the verse say? God has breathed life into all scripture? Or God has approved all scripture? God has breathed life into all scripture. God inspired it. The Bible is God's word. Next, it is useful for teaching what is blank. It is useful for teaching us what is popular or what is true. What does the verse say? It is useful for teaching us what is true. Next, it is useful for correcting our blank. It is useful for correcting our spills or correcting our mistakes. It is useful for correcting our mistakes. It is useful for making our lives blank. It is useful for making our lives whole again or making our lives miserable. It is useful for making our lives whole again. It is useful for blank what is right. It is useful for training us to do what is right or it is useful for saying anyone can decide what is right. It is useful for training us to do what is right. By using scripture, the servant of God can be blank to do every good thing. By using scripture, the servant of God can be completely prepared to do every good thing. Or by using scripture, the servant of God can be almost ready to do every good thing. By using scripture, the servant of God can be completely prepared to do every good thing. Great job filling in the blanks with me. God has good works for us to do, and the Bible can help us to be ready to do them. Now it's time for Eyes on Him, the part of our lesson when we focus on what the scriptures say about God. When you study the Bible, look for what the scripture reveals or shows about God. Then think about how that knowledge of God should impact, change, matter to your life. I see that God knows all things for all time. He knows how things are. He knows how things are going to be. He knows what difficult or bad things are going to happen. He knows it isn't always easy for us to live for him. He knows the good things he has for us to do. He knows what we will need in order to live for him. And he knows how to prepare us for what we will need to do. God knows all things for all time. I see that God has breathed life into all scripture. All of the Bible is inspired by God. God helped men write it. All of it is God's word. This doesn't just apply to the verses we like or the verses we enjoy reading. This includes all the verses, even the lists of names or the sentences that are hard to understand. Every bit of the Bible is inspired by God. What else does this passage show you about God? How should you live differently because of who God is? And now it's time for the Wheel of Wonder! The time in our lesson when we spin the wheel and wonder. What will our Wheel of Wonder question be today? It landed on blue. Our Wheel of Wonder question for today is, How can the Bible actually teach me? Correct me, train me, and prepare me for every good thing. As our passage has already taught us, the Bible is not a regular book. 
It is God breathed. It is inspired by God. It is God's word. Everything in it is completely true. We can count on it. It is truth. Knowing how special and important the Bible is, we need to read it, study it, think about it continuously, and obey it. Ask God to help you as you do. He is the one who does this work. God works in our minds, hearts, and lives to help us understand His Word and obey it. He even helps us want to know Him and His Word better. By God's grace and in His power, we can read the Bible, think about it continuously, and obey it. And we can count on God to use it in our lives as He has said He would. Praise the Lord for doing this incredible work in our lives. If you want to know more about how to read the Bible for yourself, watch this separate video called, What is the Bible? I put a link to it in the description. No matter how many bad things are going on in the world, God has good works for His followers, for Christians to do. Christians should live holy lives for God, no matter what they face. The Bible, God's Word, helps Christians know how to live for God. We should read it, study it, think about it continuously, and obey it. God works in our lives to completely prepare us to live for Him. Let's pray. Holy Father, thank you for giving us your word. Please give us the desire to know your word better. Please help us to understand it and live by it. Please give us the ability and strength to live for you, even when bad things are happening around us and to us. Thank you for working in our lives. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Well, sweet friends, I love studying God's Word with you today. There's no better time than Bible time, and I hope you will join me next time for Bible Time with Aunt JJ. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and go to BibleTimeWithAuntJJ.com for free activities that go along with today's Bible study. It's Bible Time with Aunt JJ!